Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the best looking and most atmospheric games ever made. It's just a shame that when most people try to actually play it, it looks more like this. Yes, sadly our mere mortal PCs are not ready for Cyberpunk 2077, but there is a hope out there, and that hope is FSR 2.0, because it's been finally added to Cyberpunk. Well, at least unofficially, because a mod that adds AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 has been released. Is this exactly what we needed to be finally able to enjoy this game at high settings and with a smooth frame rate? Well, let's find out. So if you want to get this mod yourself, I'm going to have the link to it down in the video description below. You simply download it and then move the DLL files from there into the folder where your game's executable is. Not only that, but you're also going to have to run this registry file in order for the mod to work properly. And then it just should be pretty simple. You go into your graphics settings, go all the way down until you see DLSS. And this DLSS now basically works like FSR 2.0. But why exactly would you want to play with FSR 2.0 from some weird mod rather than just DLSS which is included? Well, there's two main reasons. Number one, if you want to play with DLSS, you're going to need an RTX card, so either 2000, 3000 or upcoming 4000 series cards. Well, FSR 2.0 is pretty much available on everything, including a lot of older Nvidia and AMD cards and even integrated AMD GPUs. And number two, AMD has been making some pretty bold claims about the capabilities of FSR 2.0, saying that it can produce even better than native quality. After running the in-game benchmark, we can get a pretty good idea of how exactly FSR impacts the game's performance. For all of you crazy and snobby 4K gamers out there, like me, the performance difference is night and day, going from an almost unplayable 16 FPS to an actually very label 33. For all of you savvy and middle of the road 1440p gamers, the performance is also actually pretty great, especially at ultra performance. Though do keep in mind, by the time you get to 1440p ultra performance, you're rendering at such a low resolution that the details can really become lacking. And finally for all of you gamers who are still playing at 1080p, while the results are also very impressive. Though do keep in mind that at that point the quality is so bad it's just a pixelated mess. A mess that's probably making some graphic designer at CD Projekt Red pride themselves to sleep tonight. Because yeah, let's talk quality. FSR 2.0 is all well and good as long as it maintains as much quality as possible. And for the most part it kind of does. Now with any upscaling algorithm, it works the best at high resolutions. Because those algorithms just have more pixels to work with. And at 4K, their results are actually pretty good. There's almost no difference at all between native rendering and the quality preset in FSR 2.0. And while you can notice it on some edges, you simply shouldn't be able to detect it in normal gameplay. And if you can detect such small differences in graphics, then you should probably go outside and touch some cyber grass. Going down to balance, the difference is more visible, but again, especially during some high octane action, it shouldn't really make too much of a difference. You can definitely see it in some edges that it simply isn't as crisp as native resolution. Going down to performance, the trend continues, and here the quality really takes a massive dip, with edges becoming a little more jagged and blurry, signs becoming less clear, and especially the background becoming more noisy. And when you go down to auto performance, it is still by all means playable, though it's just not that kind of crisp experience you probably want to be playing with in the first place. And at that point, you're probably just better off reducing some of the settings instead of having to go all the way down to performance or auto performance in FSR. And seeing how it is an unofficial mod that was very recently released, there are quite a few bugs and also many graphical glitches that you can see right now. Though like with the game itself, I love the issues may be fixed as time goes on. And I do hope they will be fixed because so far it's been actually a pretty great experience. So while this mod clearly has a long way to go, it's insane that something like that can be just added through a simple mod. But let me know what you think of all of this and if you're going to be trying out this mod yourself. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think of all of this so definitely let me know down in the comments below. And hey while you're still here, if you want to help me make more awesome videos like this one in the future, then the best way to ensure that that will happen is to support us on Patreon, because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you're also going to find our merch store, our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.